Hello paper crafters. Um, today I've got a quick tip um, on using the Build a Blossom stamp set as well as our Blossom Party punch um, that coordinates with the Build a Blossom set. Isn't it great that Stampin' Up! comes out with coordinating products like this? Can you imagine cutting out each of these petals to make your flowers? Can't say that I'd be doing that too often, but with a punch they make it quick and easy. All right, so what you need is one of our medium weight sheet protectors or you can also use a transparency as well that will work just fine. So I've cut it probably about a 3x3 three three, um, size would be great. Unlock your punch, slide it in and you're going to punch a template. All right, so now you've got exactly what the punch looks like. Okay, now a little trick, and I learned this from the first time that I did it. Um, you will want to mark on your template which side is up. Okay, so I took a Sharpie, can you see that there? I took a Sharpie marker and wrote this side up because you'll see in a minute we're going to use this to line up our stamps, and this works with the clear mount option. Obviously, the wood mount would be a little harder to do. Um, but um, if you do it this way, then when you slide your punch, in it's going to be wrong so you always want to make sure that you mark it somehow and I thought by writing this side up it's obvious if I made a symbol then it's still hard to tell which which side is which okay so we're going to use this one and I should probably get a piece of white to put underneath here so or a color so you can see what I'm doing okay so the first thing that you want to do is um, grab your stamp set and I'm going to pick out one of each size, or one of each shape, to use, and this one. So I chose all the solid image ones. Um, okay, and then holding your template still, hopefully my head isn't getting in the way, you just want to position, oops, this way around, sorry, with the rubber side down, you want to position your stamps within that template. Some of them are a little tight just because the excess rubber around the edges. Okay. So once you've done that, then you want to make sure that your clear block is really clean. Um, so what I like to do before I do this is just use my Stampin' Mist and just give it a squirt and then just use a soft cloth to wipe, wipe it off. Just make sure it's really dry before you, you go to apply it. Okay, so that's a tip on if your clear mount stamps aren't sticking to your clear blocks, that could be why. The oils from our fingers get on there and then that's why they don't stick. Okay, so once that's done, then all you do is just position your clear block over top, give that a push, make sure it's nice and hard, and then you've got that so that when you go to ink it up and stamp and punch, it will all be perfectly aligned for you, okay? So I've done one here, um, and I've pre-mounted them using um, all the images that have the little bit of extra detail on them. So I'm using Peach Parfait to ink it up, and then stamp it down on here. use my punch and just line it up as best as you can. It's not going to be perfect just because like I mentioned that excess rubber but you will get it pretty close and by the time you assemble your flower nobody is ever going to notice that. Okay so there we go so I've got the pieces and then when you when you're ready to assemble your flower what I did I'll show you my finished sample in a minute um, I punched out I stamped and punched out four of them and my favorite adhesive for this is the Tombow Multipurpose. You could also use mini glue dots too. It'd probably be faster if you used mini glue dots. Um, except you'll see in the center of the flower, it does get quite thick. And mini glue dots will make it just that much thicker. Okay, so I'm not going to assemble the whole flower. But what I did was I went like this. And then I went with the next size. And then I filled the next size in like that. The other thing that I did is if you take your bone folder and with each petal 
can see there. Just use that to curl it and it just gives it a little bit more dimension and do that before you stick them together. Okay, so and then you just keep going. The next size would go in between those and just keep going until you're done. And here's the finished product. Isn't that beautiful? So you can see, well hopefully you can see on the video, you can see how thick that is. Um, and that's just because you're constantly putting adhesive and the tips right in the center there. So once I finished with all my layers, I punched out a half inch circle in, just in the same color and then inserted one of our Glimmer Brads. Um, isn't it fabulous? It's beautiful and so simple, especially now that you, uh, you know the trick about the creating the template with the window sheet. All right, so thanks for stopping by. If you'd like more inspiration, just visit stra stampedtreasures.com. Bye-bye.